It testing, testing, one, two, three, four, attention! You filthy earth stink beasts! Prepare to meet your moosey fate as you embark on the Tokyo Black Hour Death Podcast. Ha! <laughs> I am Zim, ready to rain down doom. And we are ready to rain down the Tokyo Black News and Review Episode 263. Welcome back. Welcome back to the insane and to the sanity. We do appreciate everybody for checking us out. Again, you get the three amigos. Brandon, the most... Brandon is the white liaison. Sorry. If he can't explain it, it cannot be explained. You get me, J.R. Had a little, had a little um, white Russian, so I'm trying to get my life back together right now. <laughs> I've been watching the Big Lebowski So I said, oh, you know what? I want me one of them white Russians. The drink, of course. So you get Jay that all the most unarticulate man in the world. And you get our main man, Jermaine, split master himself and your daddy from the future. And now, for the next two months, he is called Eggnog Shouty. Eggnog Shouty, if you missed that. <laughs> yeah, we missed him. We love to have him back. Yeah, eggnog shot is always good. And he makes a damn fine eggnog. He loves Christmas. He loves Christmas more than, uh, well, I'm going to say something wrong. He loves Christmas more than Santa. So let's get on down to episode 263. All of these great, wonderful stories are going to be from November the 5th all the way to November the 13th. You ready for the Drum Beast Award? Yeah, 2023. I'm um, ready for this year to be over. I'm ready for the year before. All I need to do is go in the future for one day. I get the lottery numbers and I change all our lives. Man. How did you get your lottery number, nigga? Time travel. <laughs> nah, you don't tell anybody. Just dumb luck. Don't let them know you've been time traveling. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then I found. Then I be found with four bullet, four bullet wounds in my head. He tripped over his gun. Shit. And precisely shot itself through the head. Sounds right to me. You hope it's going to be bullet wounds and not fucking lead pipes wrapped in phone books trying to beat <laughs> trying to beat how you did time travel out of you. you know? That's true, too. Well, please, one day, preferably a Tuesday or a Friday or a Saturday, <laughs> you know what I mean? Word. On the day that the lottery fall back to back, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Let's get it together, man. Don't be dropping me off on no Wednesday. <laughs> right. All you can get is the fucking, uh, not Mega Millions. Yeah, goddamn so. cash, phone, cash, three, <laughs> tighten up. Who cares? Let's get on down back to the drum beats of war. Hey, man, I'm telling you, boy, the world is changing. Did you see the London pro Palestinian? Rally drew 300,000 people. Yeah, it didn't And a dozen of far right counter protesters was arrested. Yeah, I think some motherfuckers ended up getting their ass kicked down there, too. So, you know. I said 300,000 people. Well, goddamn. Yeah, I mean, yeah, do, do you do, I guess. Man, you know, I'm talking to Christian. He's saying people trying to cancel Gail Kadat. Man. Oh, hey, man. Yeah, I heard she got what? into it with motherfucking uh, Mia Khalifa on Twitter. But she she's from Pal she's a Palestinian. What do you want her to do? Cause she getting paid, jump to the other side. I mean, you know, everybody could just keep their fucking mouth shut. Yeah. But you know. Truth go to nature. If I if I see white folks cutting our black folk heads, I'm like, wow, these niggas tripping. We I got I got to stand up with my people. <laughs> you don't be like, shit. You know, I just made ninety million dollars out of Hollywood. I'm gonna keep quiet. No, stop chopping off people's heads. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Man, everybody want to argue with you. Fuck your pee head ass. If you want to be a Nazi opposed to whatever you want to do, whatever you believe in, it's foolish. And just keep it moving. 
Uh, I don't know. Like I said, my I, I stand by my original statement of, you know, unless you got some kind of answers, it's probably best to just, you know. I'm just saying, man. Everybody, it's always somebody on the pros and cons. How about y'all say, let's shake hands. The world flat, the world round. Okay, nigga, let's have a good day. Let's go get some Applebee's. <laughs> get them chicken wontons. And some Sam Adams. <laughs> it's on you. The winter lo- <laughs> lager is out. I'm just saying. I don't understand why we got to keep arguing. And I got to beat you up <laughs> because you believe in something else. I understand it fucked up. And anybody who in America talking about, you know, they stand with these people point to Israel on the map. Motherfucker be standing out like Miller gorilla, huh? Spin the globe. Motherfuckers point to it. Well, I ain't never seen no map before. <laughs> Everybody's insane. Motherfucker was mad about Agriba. It was it was live TV to ask people to point to Agriba. Ain't it over in the Midwest? And ain't that number white folks? I love I love to bring that shit up all the time. He told you to point to Agriba, and you were trying to find it. Yeah, that is a good one. If a motherfucker can't say a point to Agriba on the map, what? That ain't real. You at least don't go to the fucking Midwest. <laughs> that what all the white folk did is somewhere over here. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, at least you seen Aladdin. Moving on down. No one cares about no. Do we care about the drum beast war? Israel shot down a ballistic missile outside of Earth in the atmosphere. Now that was First pretty time. badass. Uh, yeah. That was some futuristic no. Star Wars kind of shit, so it's worth mentioning. I they guess. shot, they shot some shit out of space, and America still over here trying to figure out the, uh, the, the, the. I don't know. Have we shot anything out of space yet that they told us about? I, dude, I don't know. We ain't, uh, fucking yeah, you know, signed it across. Thank God we ain't had to shoot anything out of space. So, yeah, you know, no, nobody shot a missile at us and ever. Strange, too. Moving on down, the Russians who celebrate Putin's death will be faced with consequences. Man. This is the tighten up season. Word. Man, I need to see a body, Jack, before I start fucking, you know, celebrating in the street. <laughs> yeah. Hoorah! Huzzah! Right. He's dead! Right. <laughs> nah, Jack. Yeah, I gotta see. I, I And I got to, I've got to see it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't taking, you know, them Russians, man, they're sneaky. All y'all motherfuckers out there fucking doing the cabbage patch on TikTok about it and shit, man. Y'all motherfuckers, y'all are wild. You go down in your basement where there ain't no cameras and have a silent victory lap, you know? Yeah. I'm glad, leave, yeah. Leave a yeah, digital damn. fucking Rus- trail. What are you doing? Russians are good for one thing during the holidays. Silent nights. <laughs> Yeah, have the motherfuckers kick in your door and throw that black bag over your head. Next thing you know, you turn into <laughs> big rocks. That's the last time you see And little rocks. Did you know Bernie Grenier stayed here? Oh, no shit, you know. How was her stay? <laughs> Unbearable. Yeah. She was in this very cell. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Nigga, you lying to me. What's for <laughs> breakfast? Moldy bread and water. <laughs> well, I guess I don't fucked up. Man, I would just hope the mold would cause me to mildly trip or something. Uh, either that or your, your cell may knife you to death because they ain't had no meat in a while. But let's get on up to the people who has a, who can no longer have meat. to all those people who don't eat meat but still be slaughtering vegetables and fruit. Yeah. They feel pain too. 
<laughs> Y'all just cracking their heads open every day. But yeah, I saw like a article somewhere that uh like plants can look up at you or something. Like plants can see you somehow. I don't know, it was weird. I told you, man, if a plant started to scream when you eat it, when you start eating it, would you still eat it? Dude, if plants start screaming when you fucking fired up the lawnmower, would you yeah, would you have a yard that was fucking uh Hell. <laughs> fucking armpit high. Gotta put high. them beats by Dre on. <laughs> play that, play that hip hop. Not <laughs> a sponsor, but you could be. <laughs> yeah, beats by Dre. <laughs> Stop your lung from screaming. <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh uh, man, let's get up to the upper room. We mourn the celebrities that have passed away in the current week, and this current week again is. November the 5th, all the way to November the 12th, 2023. And we celebrated Veteran Day this uh, week, too. So RIP to all the veterans out there. Yeah, thank you for your service. Believe me when I tell you, any man who has stabbed a man with a bayonet, or seen half of the people get mauled to death, <laughs> and he the only one survived, paycheck. Rest of their life. A big one. Yeah, true that. He should be living in a mansion. I know money don't bring happiness, but we know. She is sometimes make you feel a little better when you got some change in your pocket. You know, BMW. About, yeah, I was about to say fucking air conditioned seats and shit. It'll, it'll make, yeah. make you pretty happy. Make you pretty happy. Make you feel good. So let's get on down to beloved grandpa. This is the um Damn, person of the week. I forgot what I called him, but um, beloved grandpa who went viral for eating tub of paint thinking it was yogurt died at 91. His name was Bobby. I think Bobby Daniels. I looked at this man and hit, they had that shit on his lips. <laughs> I was like, how long does it take before you realize you just, you just got you a big scoop of paint? It shouldn't take long. You know, it should not take that long. And then have your kid put it on YouTube. He made some money off of us, so God bless him. Yeah, I mean, yeah, if you're going to get poisoned by pain, at least make some money off of it. <laughs> True. I'll stop, I'll stop you when you're wrong. <laughs> Moving on down, a model in reality TV star died after botched liposuction. Her name was Luana Andre. Andretti, uh, Andre, 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 I don't know how you say it. her name is, and Andre, Andre, sorry about that, she was 29 years old, she was on something called the Powell Couple, a, a Brazil TV show, oh yeah, they had that one episode, I hate to say it, I hope I don't sound ridiculous, I don't know who this man is, Andre, Andrea might be her name too. I said, "Damn, you a pretty woman!" And like she was like, a, she was doing workout videos and shit, and then she died getting liposuction of a botched. We gotta start taking these doctors' licenses away. <laughs> we got too many doctors now. We need to. Your know, all your doctors need to be the age of fifty to sixty. That's how many years it takes to be in medical school. Dude, you should be able to have one like cosmetic surgery and that's it unless it's like to save your life like now if a chimp gets out of the zoo and rips your face off all the surgeries you want until that shit's back the way it was you know but you should only be able to get one just like i don't like this about myself surgery and then that's it you get to change your nose or your eye or get your cheek done or whatever the fuck it is but you only get one and i said she was a nice looking lady and, you know, how would you feel if you the doctor who don't botch the surgery and killed her on the table? Oh, goddamn. <laughs> I mean, you would, I hope not, up. you would hope not great, but. The motherfucker probably be like, man, throw her. <laughs> She's dead, Jim. What do we do? All right, good body. Moving on down. Um, <laughs> oh, Take that let's call the police. <laughs> But if you're doing cosmetic surgery, that's why they get you to sign all that paperwork. If you die on the table, we are not liable. Yeah, you lying. You know, you'll me. make some money. 
uh, utterly insane. Moving on, a former Raider, first round pick, killed in a car accident. Former Las Vegas Raider DJ Hayden. He passed away on Saturday after a car accident, and his friend was also killed in a Zach McMillan. Damn, man. RP to these fellas. They. Uh, yeah. Oh, damn. Oh. You know, RIP. Stay strong. Mm. Moving on to Doug Jones. Veteran indie film, prog- film programmer, dead at 53. I think he did a lot of film festivals in the U.S. and all the other stuff. We do appreciate you. Anybody who set up a film festival, I have set up small venue. Can you imagine sitting up something that is so big and it takes so much time? You pull your goddamn hair out your head. Yeah, you make a fair point. I was about to say. It is very. I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. But yeah, you've given me I don't know who this man about. is. I don't see a motherfucker be doing like Dragon Con. You got to. How many people going through to get Dragon Con together? Oh. A grip in the hair. <laughs> yeah, several. Mm. R.I.P. Doug Jones. Appreciate you. Let's get on down to Robert Butler. Star Trek and Batman TV director has died at the age of 95. And if you, and if you say, wow, he directed Batman and Star Trek at 95? No, no, no. This was way before your time. This was even before me and Brandon was a twinkle in our father's eyes. Yep, that's true. He did the old school Star Trek first season or second season, and then he did the old school Batman where they danced. Had a dance number at the end of every show. You know why? Yeah. Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> Which was still, it had to be the weirdest shit, but I guess at the time it had to be the most perfect thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's odd to look back on for sure. I love, Man, how, I love how you're keeping the Bat Watusi alive personally, though. The Bat Watusi <laughs> blew my mind. I seen that shit. I was like, wow, this is insane. But just think about it. <laughs> the six and the sixty had to be great, bro. If y'all just saying y'all want to do some coke and do some partying, that don't mind Gee, about you doing. lying to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so I, I repeat all those people. We got two more people who have passed away, or at least their careers. Senator South Carolina Senator Tim Scott. Well, he abruptly ended his twenty twenty four presidential <laughs> campaign. We hardly, it was a shock by his staff. We hardly knew ye. It's insane when you drop out before you even really get in the run. What the fuck you mean we out of money? We four million in the hole. <laughs> Shit. You lying to me. Well, it's hard to go on a campaign slogan of... I hate to say it. I hope I don't sound ridiculous. I don't know who this man is. He's a black Republican, and it looks even worse because all the black Republicans never really have a, a long stride. It's like they ain't got enough money, and the white folks like, nah, my shit going to such and such. Yeah. I'll stop you when you're Tighten wrong. up. Moving on down to the CW, boy. Gotta love the CW. If you like, if you like Superman and Lois, it has been canceled after five seasons. Yeah. That's a shame, man watch some of it over at Dusty's house it's not bad like the special effects are pretty yeah. really fucking good you know ho chillin's good I wasn't mad at it hey man everything can't last forever send those people up to heaven let me teach you Jesus Christ is Manica. <laughs> Good timing. Hey, Brandon, what's the only place? Damien Pickett, the co-captain of the Montgomery Riverboat, who was attacked by three individuals, is now facing charges related to the brawl. Living in America. <laughs> I got to tighten up, man. That black <laughs> man didn't do nothing. That's a damn shame. He threw his hat on the ground. A captain is never supposed to throw his hat down. Ten years. <laughs> Nigga, what? 
Yeah, that guy's just minding his own business. You know, next thing you know. And he looked, I like, mean, he, he, he looked he, like he was just defending himself to me. Yeah, he kissed it. When you kiss the ground first, you don't get charges, man. You just get you, you just get lifted up with pride. <laughs> you have been knocked out and everybody start picking you up and you be shaking. <laughs> what Th- happened? Thankfully, no. Have you? Yeah, I've been there before. <laughs> they're shaking bake for real well, I hear the dude with that shaking bake man and stumped his chest out it was back a long time ago that motherfucker passed out <laughs> he, he passed out oh he one of the ones who pick on you all the time he ripped my shirt boy and I went to work on him <laughs> and then, then after uh, I went to work on him Jermaine went to work on him <laughs> and they said we think he dead and I'm like oh hell no nah. Time to get off the bus. Yeah, well, I mean, it sounds like you know, that. That's sounds like the real that ma, ass. Brandon. <laughs> sounds like the called, real <laughs> ma. <laughs> sounds like he called that ass whooping down upon himself, though. He sure as hell did. I forget what his name is, but boy, he apologized after that. I bet he did. Well, damn, my nigga, I guess we get to sit in the back of the bus now, huh? <laughs> this ain't your seat. But it is what it is. Let's get on down to good old American news. Jamar stomping people well, out stories always blow my mind. Oh, I don't took some ass whoopings too, but you know, every now and then, every now and then I got a good stump in there. And now I look back on it. Jesus Christ, it's my nigga. <laughs> you know, nowadays you'd be you'd be killed in the city. So let's get on down to Captain Marvel. Christian said it wasn't a bad movie. He gives it a B plus, and it only made about eighty nine million dollars worldwide. And people saying it's not a bad movie. I just don't understand yeah. why everybody was like, "We ain't having that shit." Yeah, a lot of the reviews I read was like, "It's better than you think it's gonna be," but that those are like critics and shit. A lot of just like no, the people are saying it. I don't know. A lot of normal motherfuckers I've seen, they're like, I don't know what I don't know what movie these motherfuckers saw, but it's a mess. Christian said it's it's a a movie. It's not Thor two. It's not a bad movie. And then you know everybody was saying it was woke. If you tell me, oh that shit woke in a movie, I cut you out completely. But you know what was funny? I told Christian, I like yeah, Christian. Don't go in there with that no ma'am shirt to come out saying yes ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> you go and watch the move the, the Marvels and come out with a woke hat on. Dude, I don't know. I don't okay. know. People getting on my nerve with that shit. Moving on. Saw X just passed a hundred million dollars. That means you're gonna get ten more sequels and five nights at Freddy just reached two hundred million dollars, even though it was released on streaming the same day. Boy, they if they can, if any, if every movie can strike gold like this, we'll be in, we'll be in the game. Yeah, that's true. But it ain't gonna happen for everybody. And shout out to the Simpsons, good old American news. Soma, I mean not Soma, the Simpsons. Homer will no longer strangle Bart in future episodes. And then the co-creator came back and said, "Shit, you lying to me. The choking is still in effect." Well, people are mad that he choking his son. And I was like, you know what? I hate to say this. Some of y'all need to choke y'all kids. <laughs> Dude, real talk. Oh, we beat him. Real talk. Like, Some of y'all need to put the your hands. This shenanigans. Yeah. I was, at, I was at a grocery store last week, bro. A dude was kicking his mama. I was like, boy, five across the lips. I do the you would have you, you been eating that concrete. Yeah, and she like stop it, mo- Damien. Stop it, my motherfucking mom. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> because if she didn't whoop my that. ass, she would have told my dad what happened, and then he definitely would have whooped my ass. In the words of Brandon, don't take your day out on your children. Yeah, but a whooping sometimes builds character. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I ain't saying you gotta fucking, you know, get some barbed wire out, but you should definitely go across that ass with a fucking, you know, open hand once or twice. 
Hey man, if, you, if your pit bull was out there eating the animal every day and you ain't never tell him to stop, eventually he gonna get to that human flesh. Why? But you didn't tell that motherfucker stop eating it. You need to tighten up. Yeah, yeah, and you need to tighten your kids up too. Please, that little kid was kicking him, mama. I looked at him. I t- I, I stared his soul out. He just stopped. Yeah, <laughs> get your punk ass in the car. You getting on my nerve. I mean, he's just in the in the middle of the bread aisle having a fit. And I'm just like, God, lady, get your kid. He kicking you. Kick him in the chest and then throw him in the cart. Is he okay? When he catches his breath, he'll be fine. <laughs> all you, you got to do is get that nigga one of them Tekken leg sweeps. Yeah, boy. Get one, nah, my bad. One of them Mortal Kombat sweeps. Them low, the, yeah, them low sweeps. You really you turn that hit that head on that concrete, nigga. Hey, who's crying now? <laughs> you ain't really got to get that deep. <laughs> Just hit him in the back of the head. You know, yeah. just like, just fucking a tap right on the back of the head. Pop. Yeah. They fucking bring too much milk to that shit. Boston leather <laughs> tighten them up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want to talk penny talk, son. Yeah, dad. <laughs> yeah, just a uh, so cuff. Shout out to Homer Simpson. Shout out to Homer Simpson going to be back to strangling his son. It's a cartoon. We are losing our way. Everything gonna be banned. Cigarettes, weed, beer, meat, sex. We're definitely moving yeah, towards insane. a demolition future. Yeah. Not me. I'm gonna be doing the old fashioned way until you lock me up. Oh man, let's get on down to great old American news of Trump. I ain't even read this story. I'm just give you the headline. Trump hangs up on Kim Kardashian when she tried to get him as a sponsor or something for somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, ain't he good? Don't want it with. <laughs> I like his balls. <laughs> I like his balls. Uh, that's some fucking wild shit. I mean, not really. <laughs> I could, ain't... I could totally see it. You, know? do you understand that this nigga here? She saw his. She sought his um clemency. His end, his endorsement of a clemency for some prisoner or something. He hung the phone up for some plea. <laughs> <laughs> and dirty bastard. I like him. If he ain't got time for that shit, I don't fuck with no hookers. I already got Stormy Daniels on my line. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, right? You know what? You know how bad it is for him to tell somebody. You know that nigga hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Kim Kardashian. Click. Hey, Brandon. Yeah. What Donald Trump say to her when he say, I'm Kim Kardashian. I want you to help with some. Yeah, Columbia. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, nigga treat. Fuck, he hung up and then oh, fucking told the Secret Service. Room service. Y'all need y'all niggas to bring me some chicken wings? <laughs> a red bone and a white girl. Get yourself one now. Don't be cheap. <laughs> America spends that money on these bitches. <laughs> Make sure they clean. Get on down to Trump and... Dr- this is everywhere news, too. Trump drops an absolute whopper during Florida speech. How is it possible that he is going to go to jail, possibly, which he probably ain't? He's still out here doing campaign speeches. I mean... Moving on, he just said, you would have a lot, you would have a million, you would have millions of people alive right now if the 2020 election wasn't rigged. Bro, well, he, let's not forget, they were dropping like flies on one of your COVID garter belt. Pay attention, bro. I want you to understand this now. With all that rhetoric and all them cartwheels, that nigga doing that courtroom, he didn't, she hasn't showed up to one fucking debate. That's the only nigga they talking about. That, yeah, that's he true. winning. He winning. And he ain't even having a debate with now one of them losers. And them <laughs> niggas dropping like flies. <laughs> ping, ping. Them niggas at the, uh, <laughs> at, the, uh, at, the, uh, at the state fair. Ping, ping, hit him again, ping. I guess I got to drop what I said, huh? I don't know. Trump was insane. A lot of people, a lot of people didn't die, but a lot of people got arrested. Shout out to Trump, 2020. Let's get and this 2020, uh, this 2020 folk going. I need, them st- I need some stock options so I get some money so I can retire early. Let the con yeah. man hit the sticks again. Yeah. Trump come in with the card. They already rigged. <laughs> I like it. I like it. You was winning when this nigga was winning. 
Now the Joe Biden making you feel like he's shooting crack. Like, God damn, man, where's my money going? I do drugs now, nigga. That's how I feel. <laughs> hey, Brad, what, you spend my... <laughs> what you spending your money on, nigga? I don't know. I got to be doing drugs where this shit be flying out my wallet so fast. Because, <laughs> nigga, I... it's poof. <laughs> I never knew what inflation was until we actually had that shit happen at an age when I can be like, wow, this shit is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Nigga complain about everything. Nigga, I'm like, I, I just don't understand it. Like, y'all niggas don't, y'all niggas out here buying cars and they got them shit marked up 8,000%. <laughs> Fuck the car dealership, man. Nigga, don't buy a car for a year and watch the bitch come down a thousand percent. They'll get, they'll do anything to get them out the lot. <laughs> Bag them niggas up for three years, nigga. You got 2022, 2021, and 2020 models on the lot. You're not gonna, you're not gonna last, bro. You're not gonna last. <laughs> <laughs> That shit just basic math. Don't buy a car for them niggas and watch they make it cheap. <laughs> I we mean, have the power, boy, but we silly. Yeah, again, I'll stop you when you're wrong. Yeah, if everybody would just tighten their tighten up, stop spending money, and motherfuckers watch it drop. Well, I'm telling you, but like a piece <laughs> dropped, them niggas, they're like in 1994. If, y'all, if you old enough, you got that rest. If you own that, you got your reference. My bad, Ma. They'll give your foot massage when you walk to the grocery store. Please buy these hands when they 90% off. <laughs> no, I don't think I'll just buy nothing. Be like that game Yeah, stop, get stock. on down. There you go, boy. Be a rich man. Move on. Moving on down to Radar Online. Shout out to Trump again. He goes ballistic. After learning the maid who cleaned his bedroom suite was asked to speak with the FBI. What the hell could Swella gonna say? I know. <laughs> no, no, he good man. He good man. No, no, I swear, I swear, I swear, I swear. Because you know what Trump actually told her. Room service. I need y'all niggas bring me some chicken wings, two hoes, a red bone, and a white girl. Uh, they're the ones really spilling the secrets. Oh yeah, got oh, man. y'all got caught them hookers. We know we seen them hoes. I'm tell your wives. <laughs> oh man, when the FBI ran up on that maid, Brandy. Look, if you hate cops just because they're cops, the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. <laughs> that ain't any conversation. Moving on down to the business insider. Shut up. We got to start talking about Elon Musk. May be insane. We got. He may be smart, but he may be insane. Shout out to two. We got two Elon Musk story. Thousands of people are lining up to have half of their skull removed for his brain chip. <laughs> Not me. These motherfuckers lining up. They they can't wait to get half of their skull drilled out. <laughs> Dude, I love bleeding, being on the bleeding edge of technology as much as the next guy, but I can't have half my skull be you know. Like, I'm bald, so I can't have that big giant-ass scar running down my fucking head, you know? <laughs> I, got, I got to wait for the third gen when they can go through my fucking eyeball and leave my goddamn, you know, skull intact. Yeah. Oh, man. Everybody on the phone go come out looking like Frankenstein. Dude, <laughs> I, dude, I would. I'd look like I got caught in a wood chipper if I had to get my head scut- cut on, you know? Hey, bro, put that wig on that nigga. <laughs> Put that toupee on his side. I would have Why to. Why do you always wear a hat? Yeah. yeah, I'd have to fucking Joe Dirt myself. You got to do more than that. You can't come in here no. with that hat on, nigga. <laughs> they are lining line up for the man and take a buzz out of your buzz saw to your skull. Utterly ridiculous. You want, you want to know what? These folks are pioneers. Let's you know what? They signed the wrong deal. If you survive, you get ten thousand dollars. If you be fucked up for the rest of your life, you just fucked up. I mean, like, bro, what, 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 how, how do you pay a man to cut a skull, cut my skull over, my skull open, and told me turn me to a uh, a Terminator, nigga? That's all I see. But at the end of the day, I guess without without Hill Billy signing up to get that check, we won't have no products out there. We need some human test subject. 
All that medicine, sometimes you can die. How many people died testing that medicine? It's all worked out now, Jim. <laughs> you just get the shakes now. <laughs> right, get a little dry mouth. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, just know when they tell you half of the side effects from the medicine on the commercial, somebody has been a part of every last one of them. It's or cool. multiple people. And the extremely deaf part, I feel sorry for them people. Signed their paperwork. Moving no, on down to on Elon Musk. You know no, what I thought about? How many unsuccessful trials where a motherfucker had to close down <laughs> their medical business because they don't kill too many motherfuckers? Like, damn. What's this? Hey, think about that now. How many times you heard, uh, oh, man, this, this year 20, failure. How many people y'all done killed? And they keep testing? My bad. Go oh, ahead. Oh, yeah. Bro. That shit. Hey, no, nah, man, but that $20,000 be sounding good. Shit, I need that right now. Go buy me some new Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you finna cutting your skull. Shit, I don't mind. Motherfucker, be looking, like, be looking like Golem. <laughs> what happened to you? <laughs> it happened overnight. <laughs> my hair went gone. <laughs> and my teeth started coming out, and I got this hunchback, nigga. All I know is fancy rings. For the market trip, you hear y'all hear that radio? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the market way gonna fuck these niggas up. <laughs> put them in, put them in a put them in a racetrack or a quick trip by the microwave. Let's see this nigga explode and act up. <laughs> Oh, man, how you spread the madness. But shout out to Elon Musk again, financialyahoonews.com. Elon Musk told SpaceX, SpaceX workers not to wear safety clothes because he doesn't like bright colors. Nigga, that's not a valid point. <laughs> now, stop you know, you're I, wrong. I like, I like my skin tone being a, you know what, tell them to wear that safety shit. It, it ain't no good anyway. All them bright colors hurt my eyes. Oh, this motherfucking money you got. Nigga, you couldn't make this shit your favorite color. (laughs) And now he said Reuters find a SpaceX that has 600 workers injury in 2014. 600? OSHA ain't been over there yet. (laughs) You know, I must keep keep patting them on their ass. We'll we'll holler at you. That right. All right, thank you, Elon. Thank you for the two million donation. Don't mind if I do. That's almost ten years. You had six hundred and f- how many people? Over six hundred. Well, you know how many people that is a year. You got the bad success rate, my man. That's ten niggas a week. <laughs> no, no, that's like that's like that's like two niggas a week. That's what, yeah, 24. Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm going to do the math. Do your thing. What am I say I fall on that? Go ahead. Let's say, you coming in with that pink shirt on like them bright ass colors, make it all black. Mm-hmm. But the fusion core doesn't match well with black. It, it sucks up black things. I don't know what you're talking about. Make it black. Make it black. Shout out to Elon Musk. Moving on down to Millie Bobby Brown. She's actually pretty talented. She can do a damn fine Amy Winehouse if you want to check her out. And hmm. she got some new movie come out called Damsel. 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 And I can't even say Damsel. No, what is it? Damsel. Damsel. In dis- Damsel in Distress. Damsel. Yeah, I'm all over the goddamn place. Damsel in Distress. But it's called Damsel or yeah, whatever. Right. Well, appreciate Millie Bobby Brown. Well, she been singing... Amy Winehouse since she was a little girl and she can do a perfect. Really? Well, yeah. I, I didn't see the trailer for um, Damsel. I mean, Damsel in, Damsel in Distress. So they're not. I Damsel. see the pop of my phone. Call her. It looked all right, but you know, we're going to see. Color me surprised. Oh, yeah, I mean, but she was spot on with it. She was spot on with Amy Winehouse. So I was like, God damn. Hmm. Do UK actors act better than American actors because they, they have to do a harder job speaking our language? Eh, I wouldn't think so. I mean, well, American actors have done British accents. Who? Well, oh, Brandon I know. Said it best. 
Go ahead, Brandon said the best few episodes ago. They said they love talking. It ain't easy to talk American. Just talk slow and dumber. Wow, you sons of bitches. But, you know, keep keep them, keep them coming. Mm-hmm. We got some lines, too. Whatever, I'll be clean. I don't know, but it is what it is. Let's get on down. Ain't he good? Don't want it. Will if you oh, miss no, my church, bad. Son, go ahead, Jamal. I mean, I mean, it's the, hey, Brandon Jamal. That means sixty-six niggas died every year for nine years at this at how at this location. That's a lot of people, boy. I just said six hundred divided by nine by nine years. That means sixty-six point sixty-six. A half a nigga and sixty-six <laughs> people died. <laughs> a, a half a some year. type of injury. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she should have been over there a long time ago. He his record sky high. Go ahead, Ma. Apparently, Claire Danes does a mean British accent. Brad Dorif. Who? Lake Bell. Chucky. Oh, John. I like Lith- Lake Bell. John Lithgow. Renee Zellweger. All right. <laughs> Alan T- uh, Tudyk. Meryl I'll Street. get Renee Zellweger. Jilly Anderson. Street. Hell yeah, I yeah, I thought she was British, but she does a damn good one in um whatever the show she's on, Sex Education on Netflix. Daniel Davis, to name a few. We do appreciate that. Let's move on down. Any good or want it will. A lot of white folks. people names. I ain't hear not one color. Johnny Depp. <laughs> I said a color. Oh, Forrest <laughs> Whitaker. There, Forrest Whitaker. The the only the only black man on the, the only African American gentleman on the list I see here. <laughs> Christian Bale. Oh, yeah, he's not British. He can't be American. He's insane. Oh, no, maybe it does, he is. It does say nationality British, and it says Andrew Garfield's also. Oh, it says American British. Gotcha. Hmm. Interesting. Mm, tighten up. You learn something new every day, man. Well, you know, I miss church on Sunday, and I'm ready to get my. I'm ready to get hyped up. Ooh. Ain't he good? Don't want it will. Brandy, Amen. when I raise my hand to the Lord, Jesus Christ is my nigga. Hmm. Every time I go to Popeyes, and they give me my order less than ten minutes. Look, if you hate cops just because they're cops, <laughs> the next time you get in trouble, call a crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, let's get on down. Ain't it good on any wheel? We talk about Brad Dolph. This month we are celebrating child's play for 35 years. If you are a person under the age of 35 and never seen this movie, you should slap yourself <laughs> with some Boston leather. Yeah, child's play is one of the greatest movies of all time with great sequels and horrible sequels for 35 years of child's play. Really? And every time, every time you say the 80s is worthless. Think about where all your franchises came from. You're welcome. Yes, sir. That Charles. Man, we do need to bring cocaine right. back. Dembola. <laughs> yeah, they said they were celebrating the power of Dembola. I want you to know I, a man wrote a movie about a, a man who put his soul in a doll and they made 10 movies out of it. That's I mean, insane. it's seven dollars iconic. Eight. And the TV show that's on the fourth season. Four seasons? Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that shit been on that long. I mean, them motherfuckers in their fourth season is still running. How in the fuck? They, they, like they get 88 or 90 goddamn points on Rotten Tomatoes since they're gone now. Huh. Does is it just, did they, you just end up with a new family every season? Yeah, I don't know. The way the first season uh, ended up, well, he got bought at a, um, a yard sale, and that started his new his new reign. Huh. Well, maybe I'll check it but out. But they say the show is damn good. It's um, You can't watch it on Amazon unless you got Shedder. Oh, Trying to pay for it. Uh, no, I ain't got that. Moving on, any good or won't it will. Uh, Man Beast, Mr. Beast. Sorry about this from CNN.com. Mr. Beast built 100 whales in Africa, attracting praise and some criticism. I have no idea who Mr. Beast is. Every time I see this white man, who is he? 
He's some big YouTuber. And when I mean big, I mean really big. Bro, this he has this nigga has candy. He has like he has like snack my bad snack bars, like energy drink. I don't know what this dude does. He spent more money than God. Yeah. We do that. appreciate him. I don't give a fuck what white man go to Africa. As long as he ain't giving out no vaccines and no antibiotics. <laughs> If he builds 10 wells, we appreciate it. All right. I mean, and everybody who giving him criticize, I mean, trying to criticize him, guess what? It don't matter if he's doing it for PR. You just got 100 wells, water wells that people can drink from. And they let you know if a white man from YouTube can afford it, other people can afford it too. <laughs> Meaning, like, how old he is, Brandon? Am I right? Thirty-two. I think he's like in his early thirties. But am I wrong? People all tell me I can't believe he's doing that for PR. Have you bought a well for anybody? Right, and fuck. So what? If, so what if he is? You know, like at least he did it, dude. This motherfucker is twenty-five years old. You lying to me? That's what it say here. I need to slap my whole education. Well, I need, I should have been on YouTube. This nigga used to play Roblox and do shit like Minecraft. That's what it was. The YouTube star. What? And everybody told me. 25. 500,000 people going to have fresh water in Cameroon, Kenya, Somalia, and Uganda. And you tell me, and motherfucker complaining. Every white man who got money could be over there giving wells. You just don't. Hell, the government probably can afford to give them all well. They don't either. Who the fuck is criticizing him? Oh, people mad with him. Talking about he, they, he just did the cheap, did the cheap ass well. I don't give a damn what the nigga did. Oh, that crowd got to spending money. It says some Kenyan activist and journalist <laughs> said he has spotlighted the failures of the Kenyan government. I mean, fucking good, right? Thank God they didn't shoot him in the head before he started building them wells. You ain't lying, boy. You're in a different type of area of that home, boy. Ain't no American finance gonna get you out of that bullshit. He's, I'm just saying. All, government, all governments are crooked and horrible. They can spend the money to give everybody wells and do this and feed everybody. They just fuck around with the money. It is. You can't give me one government system that works well. Right, I mean, like, they're shaming him because he made the government look bad? Prominent activist Boniface Wagi contrasted Donaldson's actions with those of the Kenyan government, saying that we are a shameful, horrible country, a begging nation governed by billionaires. I mean, nigga. Which is insane. I mean. Go ahead, Jermaine. <laughs> I'm just like, what y'all want me to stay in poverty? Let tell, let that white man bring this water over here. You brought everything else over here. <laughs> white Jesus. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it. I mean, I feel, I feel these motherfuckers though. This one motherfucker lauded Donaldson's efforts, but said it's embarrassing that a YouTuber jetted into Kenya on a charity tour to perform tasks or taxes should have fucking completed ages ago. Yeah, no shit. No fucking shit, man. Yeah, you need to fucking... I don't know. I don't know what kind of government Kenya's got, but you might want to look to start overthrowing that motherfucker and get some get some shit rolling. Everybody need to be thrown out on their ass, man. Get some people who actually got some good hearts. And we can change the world. These greedy sons of bitches are ruining everything. And in the end of the world, we all going to go together. No matter how long you think you're going to survive all being in the government, money is the most useless thing in the end of the world. It does nothing but make heat. That's right. I want, hey, look, you want to be the man with all the money in the end of the world, the man with all the canned goods. Even aluminum, nigga. Even aluminum is more important than money. A nigga with shoes on is more important than money. Just saying. Let me shame. Let's get on down to uh, AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Former teacher said she made nearly $1 million from OnlyFans in less than six months. So she quit her teaching job. I will quit too. 
Yeah, no If shit. anybody want to come look at my OnlyFans, I am showing my sacks <laughs> and my half. That's about it. Forty nine ninety nine a month. It's insane. And if your kids are listening to this, you might want to stop. You you might want to do a disclaimer. Yeah, He's right. showing his sex, mommy. Yeah, I'm just saying. But still, who is gonna keep working a pitiful job with these pea head ass children if you can make half a million dollars? Your house is paid off, and you can take a small early retirement. Yeah, no, I me. Mean... I thought I could make a million dollars doing it. I would be, I'd quit my job tomorrow. Hell yeah, yeah. Once I pay, once I pay out the house and get a few things fixed, it ain't nothing but call of duty for the next 20 years. <laughs> yeah, no shit. He ain't lying. I'm a simple Everybody man. Everybody who realized if you get naked online, if, see, the problem is, only fan works like the lottery. Only very few make a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are more losers on that bitch than it is people making millions of dollars. True that. Ain't nobody looking at my content and I'm like, wow. Tighten up. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, that'd be me. Hey Brandon, when that when that girl when that girl looked at her bank account and said, "I made nine hundred thousand dollars a year," Jesus Christ is my nigga. <laughs> put your hands <laughs> up, put them down. Any good? I want it. We're well, moving <laughs> on. To, uh, this is from um, BroBible.com. I had to put this in. Any good? I want it. Well, hecklers and people who are getting on your nerve need to be slack slapped or hit with that Boston leather. Sorry. Band member take break from playing tuba to KO heckler. Continue Damn. playing like nothing happened. This is a man who was on every cadence. He knocked the dude out and got right back in line and was goddamn. He didn't miss a beat. Yeah, he sure didn't. He's the original <laughs> drummer boy. Rump a bum bum, yeah. That dude ate every sandwich <laughs> that was. He <laughs> ate all the popcorn that was underneath the stair. <laughs> If you have a weak jawline, please, people, please, people, please, people. Some people don't Shut know it's weak. mind your business. Some people don't know it's weak. Well, hey, look, they find out it's weak after they get done. <laughs> after the two Coke 45 done like, amped the nigga up to some, uh, <laughs> to severe hokanism. <laughs> I'm old now. I have a weak constitution. I'm not, you know, I'm like, wow, we not, we don't have to get the fighting brother. When he turned, hit him in the head with a brick. <laughs> you take off <all> running. <laughs> Think about the survival rate when you get old compared to some young dude. Especially if you don't have 10 drinks, there is nobody in this world you're going to beat. I don't know now. Don't get them angry drunk. Get that well, nigga out of here. Yeah, sometimes they can take a long thing to you throw them outside in the cold. Then they got the pneumonias the next morning. When people get drunk, why they always get thrown out? They have no coat on. They just come to the bar to fuck some shit up, huh? <laughs> when it's yeah. cold outside, you always see people here be stupid drunk. Ain't a jacket on. Everything that he came in there was still sitting in the club. Yeah, I was hey. about to say he left that jacket in the club. He done forgot Hell all yeah. about it. Hey, boy, I know, I know there's two things I got older from hanging in the club. Have you ever see a man walking there? And it's, it's, it's we can say in November, December, and this nigga just got on a button-down shirt with no shirt underneath it. He ain't going to be that long. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't going to be that long. He, yeah, he, they be the first one to get drunk. <laughs> he already pre-game. Yeah. <laughs> He got he ain't got nothing on but a button down shirt, bro. Nothing on, no, there's some shorts and some flip flops. He ain't gonna be that long. <laughs> he, he got some burning too. So yeah, he, he already sweat. He came in sweating. Fifteen degrees outside. Shit, not not the way my blood pumping. <laughs> pop. Got been taking Jack Dan six a.m. What you say, Brandon? <laughs> Said pop to Molly. He sweat. Woo. Uh, they let me in moving here. Moving on to the insider.com. Crackdown on people filming themselves exercising amid concern about privacy and overcrowding. They want to stop all these TikTokers from being in the gym showing off their workouts. Good. 
mean, I ain't yeah, mad we should at get you, it. but like, good. But you would assume the gym is getting money because now everybody want to come there and look at her work out. Yeah, but you don't want, also don't want to get the reputation as the gym where fucking creepers come to watch chicks work out either. We had this hey, conversation man. before, man. You remember the remember the woman where they said she couldn't come to the gym because she was too sexy and now their husband was looking at her? That's your fault. That bitch over there grinding while you over there looking <laughs> like a muffin. Get it together. <laughs> Do what she doing. God damn it. Because when I used to go to the gym and work out, I'd be stuttering me. When I see something fine, I just keep my work out. I'm like, yeah, you got it. But I ain't going to give you my attention. I'm already fucking with these weights. See? See how I minded my business? <laughs> True well, story. You well can't even played. pick a girl up at a gym no more. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't. No, me neither. Not, not a million years. How you doing, babe? Sexual harassment, nigga. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't, I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah. you, you mind if I wipe your machine now? Oh, hell no, nigga. You going to jail. <laughs> But, bro, it's like a gym, bro. People going to be creepy everywhere. And it's like you can't isolate no gym. But, hey, look, if you got a bunch of creepy people in there, bro, keep the creepy people out of there. Hey, look, nigga, you been here every day. And you ain't worked out on one machine, nigga. And you be looking at the same person. You got to go, Jim. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Don't forget when I saw that Indian doing that with a jacket on on the treadmill. Boy, he took that jacket off. Excuse me. It was onions. <laughs> I said, God. <laughs> My mama, he got a he got on like a London fall jacket on the treadmill. <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> you and we a trench coat, like, trench coat, it was bigger. It was it was bigger than a trench coat, like a little bubble coat. And I was like, wow, this motherfucker insane. Yeah, how the hell? I was like, he got on a trench coat. <laughs> Maybe he get cold, but you know, everybody was looking like you know, everybody was watching him. Yeah, I know we start seeing white people in trench coats and everything. Yeah, when it's cold outside on the treadmill, y'all pat him down when he came in here. Oh, no, no matter what the race is. If I see a black dude with a bubble coat on and it's 90 degrees outside, I keep driving. Don't stop at the light. Yeah, don't stop at the gas station. Uh Uh-uh, I'll get my gas somewhere else. Motherfucker who be wearing bubble coat or London fall coats while they in warm places, pat them down. (laughs) <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, if that was me, I don't want to know why I ain't walk to the nigga. You can't come in with hey, this and workout clothes only. No trench coats, nigga. No nothing. Workout clothes only. I see a dude coming in with some flip flop. He about well, he about sixteen. Sir, you can't come in with them shoes. That nigga over there by the goddamn bench press and the dumbbell, slamming weights. I say, yeah. <laughs> Fool. Yeah. Whatever, man. Uh, and no offense to that Indian man, but boy, when we went over to them to lift them weight, he took that jacket off. I said, God damn. It was a good reason you had it on, brother. He had no deodorant on because another another lady was like, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I ain't saying nothing. I just killed working out. <laughs> Jermaine, you can't keep eating I, them chips while we're recording, bro. I apologize, man. I thought I put it on mute, but I was so I was laughing at this nigga in this trench coat. I had to. <laughs> I just I'm a bad man. I apologize. Hey, it's back in the bag. I ain't getting no more. It's not even chips. No apologies. No worries. Oh man. And that's the end of part one. Thanks for everybody for tuning in. Uh, come back Friday for the exciting conclusion of part two. <laughs> <laughs>